Okay, so the last run we did it wasn't a it wasn't a complete disaster. In fact, you know it was actually a pretty good run. It's just that you know it, it, I didn't get the the one ending that I I needed. Um, I felt like technically I would have won the pacifist ending. You know if it would. If I didn't accidentally kill Reva there. But, uh, well, since you already did one of Silicy, I don't know, I was thinking I'd do another character. We did one Saffron, we did one Reva. Um, or rather, not, not Reva, rather Silicy. Saffron and Silicy, rather. You know, She Saw is actually pretty strong. It's just that the run will be over really quickly, you know, if I use him. He's actually too strong sometimes. Um, so, I actually don't want to use him. Ironically. Uh, you know, Beat Revel is the opposite. Beat Revel takes so long to win the game with. That's kind of not worth it sometimes. Uh, sure. I like Revel though. Let's try Shield Revel, actually. Let's just do the, the classic Shield Revel. I like using Shield Revel, actually. I mean, I like any character that can reflect, you know, that can parry stuff. It's just, for some reason, I think that's cool. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. That's seven. I think it's seven, right? I think it was seven. Seven and start. Let's do that. Again, what I'm trying to do is a pacifist. Pacifist route. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh yeah, I can parry, by the way. Oop, oop. Ah, that <laughs> took some damage already. Hopefully I get healed up. So it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, well these ones don't really help me. Also change my focus, by the way. Oh, it's already, actually, it's already changed the phalanx. You know, let's do double phalanx. Double phalanx. Double sh shield build. Uh, Trinity cast. Man, these don't help me at all. I mean, I guess shuffle artifacts trigger when you kill an enemy. What's that mean again? Actually, I don't know. I thought I knew what it meant, but like now I'm confused actually. What do you mean shuffle? Oh, shuffle. Okay, artifacts that have the shuffle trait trigger when you kill an enemy. Okay, that's what it means. Okay, I got a little, you know, my brain got twisted there. It was like, what does it mean again? Like, what do you mean the artifacts trigger? Rather, it's the artifacts that have the shuffle uh, trait do the thing. I mean, this really helped me. Eh, I'll get it anyway. I mean, it's new. Both of, them, both of those don't really help me anyway. Uh, diamond ring sounds good, but the passive... I feel like, you know, I used to like I used to like these rings, but then as I played more, I realized, like, you have to have them in your slot for so long that you're not doing anything while they have them in your slot. Unless you're doing, like, a weird thing where you're, you're not relying on spells, I guess. So, it's just kind of not worth it. I'll skip them for now. Let's see, I've got one removal. I kinda- I, I wanna remove the sh- well, I'll keep the shield catch for now, but later I'll remove it. The shield catch is just a, kinda, also kinda not worth it because, especially later on when it gets really chaotic. Um, not worth it. Uh, uh, oh well, she's dead. I was gonna do that, but it was like the last card in my deck, so I couldn't get to it. Uh, spike. Oh, actually, Spike Strip is new, actually, I think. Wow. Oh, well. If I shoot when you hit a target fragile, I'll okay, get mana regen. I want mana regen instead. But the monocle is new, it seems, as well. But I don't have any fragile skills. So, no point in that. You know, what I really want is just simply the uh, shields up, you know? It's a very basic spell, just shield, just give me shield, that's it. That's all I need. I guess I'll get that, that's good too. And since I have that, let's just get rid of shield catch. Shield catch, again, a lot of the potion ones, like the ones that... I mean, the one that heals health it might be pretty good, but otherwise... The one that gives you shield is like, meh. Like, you really don't want to spend time just trying to catch it while you should be doing something else. Also, how do I do this without hitting the the nurse? Um, hopefully that doesn't hit the nurse. Uh, 
Ah, help! Okay, I'm not dead yet, hopefully. Let's see, oh, I, I would ever skip it. The diagonals, even using them is hard for me to keep track in my head. I'm like, I don't know how to use it. Oh my god. Whatever, right, just use it. Use it and hope for the best, basically, is my, my plan. Ow. I hate the frost guys. Obviously, if you, if you get hit by those small cube things three times, you get frosted, you take damage, so that sucks. But yeah. And just as a reminder, I guess, uh, Rever's special skill is reflected. I've been using it a few times already. It, uh, it can be very powerful if you, if you reflect the right things. You can also just hold it down, so you don't really need to parry, you don't need to time it. You can hold it down, and basically, she's basically mostly invincible for most things. Um, but it does cost mana, so you can't hold it down forever, obviously. So you gotta make sure you have enough mana regen to make sure... Let's go here, hopefully it's a nurse. It's not a nurse. So, oh well. I can also just do this. That works. Trigger shuffle artifacts. I don't have a, I don't have shuffle artifacts. Is the problem? So <laughs> you can hope that you get them in the future, but what if you just don't? <laughs> what happens then? Give me some mana regen, please. Um, slice hellfire. Not really good for me. Max HP is good. Yeah. You know, it's funny, I just look at the pack and it's like, Hey, max HP is good, it just costs 65, right? <laughs> Overall, it's just 65 money, so I might as well get it. Even though, obviously, again, they're meant to be curses. They're not meant to be just like, oh, you can just spend money to get rid of them. Even though, obviously, you can. Also forget, oh yeah, uh, Rambo's passive, by the way. I lost all my shield, <laughs> whoops. Um, Rambo's passive is, she gets more shield the more you move. I forgot about that. I'm gonna think about that. And obviously the shield throw as well is pretty good as long as it hits. You do as much damage as, as, many, as many shields as you have, so it can be incredibly powerful. Uh, if you miss, however, you end up losing all your shields, so... Obviously that's not great. Uh, make sure you cap get the shield as well once it gets back to you. As long as you have a lot of shields, it's really good. Make sure you don't get hit. There you go. Make sure- you, hope, again, hopefully I don't kill, like, accidentally kill someone with a stray bullet. You know, I think it's happened- well, I think it's happened a few times actually, when I, I've killed an enemy or I killed a boss accidentally. I think it's happened already a few times. Uh, I remember one time it happened because I accidentally- oh, ouch. Accidentally, uh... I was trying to dab, you know, because Saffron can dab if you do the special, you know, command or whatever. I think I was dabbing one time because I just wanted to, you know, be fancy, I guess. But accidentally, because my uh, my character had uh, the artifact where if you shuffle, you do damage to your enemy, I accidentally dabbed someone to death. So that was a thing. I don't know if I did- actually, I don't remember if I did it on stream. Maybe it was like a run I did off screen, but... I remember doing that, so <laughs> that was by accident. Uh, Haven, I mean, it's. I I don't know if it's good for Reva. It does give you shield, but it gives you everything. <sighs> Overall damage is just like nothing in that case, you know. If nothing else, it makes it harder for you because you have to kill, you have to do more damage. So it just cancels each other out. I mean, I guess the benefit is that you can use that shield to... For shield throw, I guess? <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, fate shield might be good. If you somehow can use it to finagle it... I keep using that, I keep using that word, by the way, finagle. That's the wrong word. I'm, I'm gonna keep using it anyway. <laughs> I, I think, that, again, that word means not what I think it means, but... 
But if you can like somehow use it, then throw your shield away, and then it hits the target, like it hits the target, you technically don't lose your shield, and then you get the shield thrown back. And you do this weird thing if you time it correctly, you can get like extra 200 damage out of it, I guess, and also 200 shields. Um, but that's I don't know. I'll skip it because <laughs> that's a very weird thing to do. It's a, hard, it's a bunch of hard setup. And I don't want to be thinking about that while I'm just trying to live, so I think I'll skip on that. Let's, uh, hmm. I don't know, actually. I don't know which way to go. Eh, let's go this way. Eh, let's go this way. How do I not hit the nurse? <laughs> I, can't, I don't know how to not hit the nurse. Uh, that freaking diagonal. I mean, it's good if you don't care about, you know. It's fine if you don't care about not hitting anything. But like, I might hit the nurse, so that's a problem. I don't know. <laughs> I, can't, I can't time it. Uh, I can't like, angle it correctly. Just reflect. I mean, these enemies are tough. Where you know they're, they're easy when you're saffron because you can just hit them multiple times. Not so much when you're every other character. I feel like because you don't have a lot of like spells that can hit multiple times unless you already have it. Your Lota, I guess, or rather like a weapon, rather where you can hit multiple times easily anyway. So it just takes long to kill these guys. Fate Shield, Rock Tomb, uh, they gain shield. I, why do I keep giving them? I don't want to give them shields. I want shields. I don't give them shields. There you go. Do a bit of this, do a bit of that. And then, boop, 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 and kablam. You know, Reva can be really good. I mean, especially if you use Reflect. Because not only can she have like have a lot of survivability with shields and also reflecting, but as long as you keep that shield up, you know, you can do a lot of damage. A lot of burst damage. Miss me shield. Hmm. It's good a lot of the times, but I feel like it's like half the time, ironically, if, it, if you know, sometimes it's hard to miss because it's just like enemies filling up all four uh, tiles and then you can't do anything, which I don't like. Iron shield. I mean, the idea for this one or the iron wills, yeah, it's like you kill the enemy before they get the shield. But otherwise, if you're fighting like a, a boss with a lot of health, at that point, it's basically 20 damage overall, which is not great. I mean, zero, I guess, but... Ah. 60 shield. I don't want to mess with that. I don't, you know... Make, okay, I said, when I played this game before, I remember, like... When you make the mechanics more complicated, technically you can make it work. But then your brain hurts. And then you don't know if you're doing it correctly. Ah! Ah, help! Okay, good, whatever. I saved them, so... I mean, I guess they're both nurses, so that was worth it, I guess? Does it, I mean, I don't have to save both of them anyway. Oh, I just lost all my shields. Eh. Eh, just that, okay. Overall, profit. I think I have max health, right? Uh, Forte, that's good. Getting that. It's just straight up shields, so... That's what I really want, just, just straight up shields. Give me those shields. Uh, tight pants. Lose HP every time you lose and you move, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't know the math for that. I feel like if you're fighting a boss fight, you, you're probably gonna move a lot. And then you're gonna lose a lot of HP. HP is very, I feel like, pretty precious, you know? You don't get a lot of chances to heal up. So, I think you just you save up your HP. No one's accidentally use it up willy-nilly. Yeah, let's get back to mana. Let's get the... I can upgrade. Well, let's get upgrade, yeah. Upgrade... Forte. Double cast, no? 
a bonus shield. Bonus shield or minus one mana cost. Okay, bonus shield. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> just try to reflect them. Sometimes I try to react by reflecting, but you know, it doesn't work out. Uh, hit yourself for 40 damage, gain 100 shield. Mi might be good because it does hit your shield, right? As far as I know. Yeah. So this is pretty good for stacking even more shields, but you gotta make sure you have shields in the first place. Oh yeah, I said before, uh, this potion by Mad Potion also, I don't know. I don't know how you would make it work because it's just annoying to have to actually get the potion just to get more mana as well. So these potion spells, usually I don't like them, except maybe with the healing potion. I got the Corsair, why not? Mm, okay, spell, marriage end. Give me that marriage end. Do, do, do. Okay. Give me that forte. Even more shields, please. Even more shields. Hiya! 300 damage. Wow. That's always I keep doing that. I well I guess the way you should dodge that is to stay at the part where it's not restricted so much, obviously. Eh, take that. Okay. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I do have I do have reflect. So I can avoid some damage here, but I use mana to do so. Also, I get hit by an alley anyway. Ah, I lose all my shields. Be careful. Oh my god. Ah. Ah, just reflect that. Do 14 damage. Good. Eh. Do 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 do. Sure I don't miss with the shield throw. Probably a good idea. Probably a great idea. I w if I would say so myself. Ow, ow. That's not what I need to do. Ah! I could also try reflecting all of that, but I make sure that I have enough mana though. Again, reflecting does cost mana. I imagine if you have like a lot of mana or mana regen, you could take advantage of just simply reflecting literally everything. That'd probably work. Just never dodge anything, just reflect everything instead. You know how they say, oh, you know, there's always that meme of like... Someone dressed as like a crusader, you know? And they're holding a gun and they're saying, Parry this casual! But then what if you do though? What if you can actually parry bullets? Reva can do that. Maybe I can parry it. Maybe I can parry the power of gun. You know? Anyway, uh, let's move on over here. Do 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 do. Uh, yeah. Shields up. Corset. I have this. All right, just use it. Good. Energizer. Well, Energizer is always good. You know, this is the one thing that's just always good. You know, why would you not get this spell? It's like literally always good at every single circumstance. At least 99% of the time. Like, when would you not use that spell, I feel like? Like, maybe if you don't have two mana, I guess. But usually you do, so... Sure, you get poison. You get poison. You basically take a lot of health damage. It's not great. Bypasses our shields. Right, here's absorb. Um, mm, it does help. Again, it's similar to shield potion. This is this is better than the shield potion because it does do damage. So that's nice. I guess I'll get it. I don't like the mechanic. Like I like the idea of catching it. That's a cool idea. 
it's just not very useful when it's, it's very chaotic and trying to dodge everything. Kind of hard to, you know, sneak it in, you know, when you're actually trying to live. So a lot of the times you're just standing there doing nothing if you're trying to catch it as well. Spike Trap. Oh, Deck Shield. Uh, gain 5 shield for each spell in your deck. Consume. And also heal, I guess. Sure, why not? That sounds great. Let's see. Gain 2 shield when you get hit. Cast 3. Okay, gain 3 shield when you get cast a spell. Or even more mana regen. Um, okay, I guess Bismuth. You know, I never knew what a Bismuth is, to be honest. But it is, I guess, it's just, it's just a type of rock. You know, the type of mineral, I think, that looks really strange and colorful. It looks like it's artificially made, but actually it's a real, naturally occurring type of rock, I think. I think that's what it is. That's what it is. I don't know. I, I, it seems like a very like common thing to know, but I just didn't know, I guess. I never knew what it was. I thought it was like a reference to something. <laughs> but it's a reference to real life, as it turns out, I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. As it turns out, it's just life. You know, you, you know how you source like an essay? Instead of like sourcing like a particular type of uh, article or anything, just source like life, you know, real life. That's where I got this information from, life. Money or tutu? <laughs> you know, just get a tutu? Uh, actually money is more, might be more useful, because again, shuffling, eh, I'll get more money actually. I might be able to use it later on to get better things. The shop. Uh, I guess I'll go over here for the treasure. Actually, that was a horror. Why did I do that? There's nothing. Eh, do that. Hold on. Eh, do that. Wait, hold on. Uh, eh. That was wrong. Whoops. Ah, no, no. Ah, whoa, whoa. I lost a chest. I wasn't able to do no damage. Should have saved my, uh, my shield throw. I don't know why I shot my shield throw so early. There you go, here shields up. There you go. Give me that. Grab that one money. Give me that one money. Singular money. Give me all of the shields. All of the shields. Kablam! Okay. Uh, let's play it safe. Just, you know. I mean, do I need saver? I think I have enough HP. I only need saver, but oh well. It's out of principle, I guess. Diamond ring. If you like it, you know, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it or something. Uh, these are all shield related, but I don't want them actually at this point. Let's, uh, I don't know, put none here. But I feel like at this point I'm pretty good, unless there's some, some other kind of thing I'm missing. I mean, again, the new spells I'm not really familiar with, there might be something even more that might help, uh... The deck, I guess. Not sure. Kablam, Energizer. You have that. Even more shields. Okay, don't miss. I missed. <laughs> I said don't miss and I missed. Wow. I literally said right afterward. Gosh. Don't miss. All right. I didn't miss that time. There you go. Okay, I can't. I keep. I'm not remembering not to use my reflect. By the way, I'm, so I'm trying to dodge as well and setting up my shields. I forget to reflect. It's very powerful. If you remember to reflect. You literally just be invulnerable for like a second. Let's see here. Oh, that's weird. This thing doesn't teleport? Oh, no, no, okay. Actually, it was the other space that it got stuck on. Okay. 
Oh, ah, for, uh, every. <laughs> uh, you gotta shoot where it's gonna teleport, not where it was. Sometimes I just forget that. All right, there you go. There you go. Smog, spike strip. No, not really what I need. Uh, we'll just continue on. Uh, poison, heat seeker. I guess I got heat seeker. Don't really need the healing right now. I want to go to the shop, so let's go this way. But yeah, hopefully, you know, hopefully this works. I, again, I said before, but I don't know if I will get the unlock, you know, for Terra if I do it this way. If I just. I mean, for one, there's two factors here. Like, does it count if I use a different character than Terra? I didn't want to just play Terra because I feel like, well, I might do another run of Terra when I unlock the costume. I don't want to just do two runs. I want to mix it up, you know? But also, um, I mean, again, Terra is the worst character I can use. Plus, I'm also not sure if uh, simply toggling the seventh hell mode. Like, uh, thing? I guess, I don't know what you call it, but... It's the seventh hell mode... ...factor, I guess. Does that count as beating the seventh hell mode? I, I don't know. I don't know if that counts. Hopefully it does. Uh, switch bait. Hmm... Just looking at my spells. It might be good for Energizer, maybe. Otherwise, a lot of my spells just don't do damage, so... Eh, sure. Also applies Fragile, which is interesting. Oh yeah, sure. In fact, I could just switch, well, I switch bait plus the, the shield throw. If I set it up correctly, I could do a lot of damage and, you know, I could just do it twice, basically. I mean, switch bait as well is another spell that's just always good as well. Usually. Unless you have a lot of spells that don't do anything. In terms of damage. But usually you do, in most builds. Get rid of you. Um, I don't know if I can help you, lady. I could do that, but otherwise, sorry, lady. I, th I think you're dying. I can't help you. So, I mean, unless I can connect, but... do that. Ah, well. <laughs> It's her anyway. How's that work? Why is there two, by the way? That's weird. I don't, I don't know how it works. Let's just move on. Rest in peace, that nurse. Um, uh, gain two defense. Sure, why not? Gain some defense. Just wear an undershirt. Go to the shop. Start with 40 shield. Pretty good. Uh, max mana. Pretty good. Uh, max HP. Pretty good. If I remove it after buying it. Refresh the stock. Could heal up. Sure, why not? And I guess that's it. I could chaos frame. I don't know if I want that. Refresh one more time. Max mana. Sure. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I do have something that can go past her, actually. That. Okay, that makes it easy. I don't need the healing, but again, just for this, if I can, I guess if I can save them, might as well. But technically, if you really want to be efficient, you would just kill her for the money. But anyway, I think well, I think you get money. I uh, get money or I'm not sure. I think money or experience, maybe. I think money. Okay, use a switch bait shield throw combo. Hiya! A lot of damage right there. Do, 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 do. Also, I can do this, I think. <laughs> Just reflect it. Don't even bother dodging. Who needs to dodge? Hmm? A bit of that. Of that and kablam! You're dead. 700 damage. 
the hell is this? It's Reva. That's what it is. Um, sure. I, I, I didn't fight Saffron. I should have fought Saffron earlier, actually. Saffron, I imagine, is pretty hard because she has access to a lot of new spells, so... She was already hard in the first place. Um... Whatever, just use it. I don't want to... You know, I want to get rid of that. In fact, I want to get rid of Diagnose. Diagnose just suck. That's probably the next thing I want to get rid of, if possible. Just shuffle, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Blam. I'm getting rid of that, that diagonal, actually, when I think about it. There's just too many situations where I, I can't use it, is the problem. Ah, uh, blue bullets equals the current mana. Piercing. Gain shield. Hmm. Not bad. I do have a lot of mana. You know what? Sure. Ooh, more mana regen. That's good. Let's see. Where do I want to go? I do want to buy a removal, so I do want to end up at the shop. So, yeah. I'll go there. Ah, poison. Damn it. And all the shields in the world won't help me from poison. That's the problem here. Can't exactly reflect poison as far as I know. Okay, do that. Alright. That does nothing. Alright, go. Just destroy it. Alright. Uh, move on, I guess. Nothing here. I think I want anyway. Do a bit of that. Eh. Uh, do that. Do that. Oops. Ow. Ouchies. Ouchie mama. I hate that. I hate that thing. You know, the turret that, that keeps doing that by the Trinity turret. It, it like. Activates every third step, I guess. You know, it gets like a Trinity thing every time you move, and obviously number three is when it shoots his laser. It's distracting, because it's got to pay attention to it at the same time as everything else, and... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Kill the bunny. Ooh, Stinger? <laughs> okay. Fire homing missiles for every ten shield you have. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it does fit the build, so I guess I'll grab it. Also has like a rainbow border. It must mean it's special, right? Don't get hit by the cactus. The blam. <laughs> I hit the go I hit a dog accidentally. I didn't want to do that, actually, but it works out. Uh, let's try this. Stinger missile, I guess. Wee. Okay, that's pretty strong. It's also yeah, it just hits them automatically, so very great. Uh, bonus twenty shield, I guess. Overall, you get more shields, but again, I don't like that though. I don't like. I don't know. I don't like helping the enemy. Make the fight last longer. I don't want to do that. More max mana? Why not? Mm, gain removal though. Goodbye, Diagonal Beam. I don't know how to aim that, so I'm just removing it. Uh, let's upgrade. Let's see. Upgrade. Uh, Singer's already upgraded. Let's upgrade shields up, actually. Bonus shield, please. Double cast. You know, it's worth it, yeah. 80 shield for 2 mana. I think it's worth it. Ah. Help. Help. Ow. <laughs> okay. Ah. Ah. Just kill the missile thing, by the way. If it lands, I think it does a lot of damage, so I'll just get rid of that now. 
Also homing missiles. Whee! Also homing missiles again? Sure, why not? Ow. I hit there. Hopefully I heal up from the nurse. Let's get rid of that. Just get rid of it. It's just it's still so distracting. That's the biggest thing. So distracting going pew pew all the time. Ow, I hurt myself again. Again, hopefully the nurse heals me up. Ah! None of these are good. Ow. I'm not paying attention anymore. Okay, that works out. Give me that health, alright. <laughs> that, that was really bad for some reason. Somehow I ended up doing really bad there. Uh, game 5 Reflect for Zipper Success wins. Hmm, I mean I already have Reflect. I mean this is technically a better Reflect, but at the same time. You have to like, time it. You gotta make sure it's in your hand, and then you gotta use it, it's like, mm, I don't know. Give me my max mana. All of the max mana. I have too much mana now. I need like, better mana regen at this point. I should have uh, reflected, actually. Probably a good idea to reflect. If you time it right. Anyway. Even though it's homing, sometimes it does miss anyway. I guess. have a lot of damage by the way and you're dead let's see here who's next um ice who's ice i think it's uh violet either violet or saffro who's harder violet can be pretty difficult i mean depending on the character you play i don't remember really know ah whatever we'll fight saffron last it'd be kind of fitting right I'll probably lose though. <laughs> that was that was suck if I lose. You have to roll this. Also, eh, reflect. Does it work? I don't know if it worked. Help. Not again. Reflect. Did it work? I don't think it worked. Doesn't seem to do a lot of damage anyway though. Eh. Just just stop doing that. All right. Shield Generator, Paragon... I think- oh, I think Paragon is new? I think it is. It's a weird one. Hit in a diamond four tiles away. That's weird. It does 160 though. You most likely only hit one thing with it, but... Eh, it might be worth it if you know how to aim with it, I guess. Hmm. I'll skip on it though, because it's a weird move. It's weird, it's too weird. Ooh, I'm gonna go with, I wanna go to shop, but at the same time with dark mode. Mm, we'll skip the shop. I mean, we already got a lot of stuff anyway. We don't need the shop. We don't need no shop. Also, okay, well, this is fine. I'll just go shoot off his thing and then it won't do anything ever again. Which means the money's worth this, though. You know, the hostage just gives you money. Oh, candy wrapper. You know, I think I, re I remember actually. Uh, um. I don't remember all the details from the patches, uh, from the patch notes rather, but I remember distinctly reading that the candy wrapper apparently is actually less rare. You know, it's like, it's uh, more likely that you can get this now, but I still don't want it because it's such a weird thing. It's kind of like Pac-Man, I think, right? Where you, uh, when you go to one side of the field, at least vertically anyway, you obviously says, oh here, you wrap to the other one, but it's too weird. <laughs> you know, I can't handle that. It hurts my brain when that happens. So I end up just... Because I sometimes I just, oh no, it's like, oh, I'm getting attacked. So like I quickly move up, but then I move up like 5 million times. Usually I expect my character to be stuck there, even if I mash the button. 
But with Candy Wrapper, however, they just end up looping back and getting hit by the attack anyway. So that's the problem with Candy Wrapper. You have to be more precise in your movement when you have it as an artifact. I think it's a detriment, so I don't like having it. Even though it's supposed to be rare, it's more common now, yet still I don't want it, you know? So, you might make it work, I guess, if you really memorize how it works. You could like do very interesting dodges, I guess. But like, it's too much of a gameplay leap to remember that you have it. So I just don't like it. Ah, oh, I just like the rock. <laughs> so I saved my, uh, my shields. Hmm. Hiding behind the nurse. That's fine, I'll just do this. There you go. Giant homing missiles. That's, that works pretty well. Uh, let's see. Earth Prayer, Air Slash, Jam Shield. I don't want the jam, so. Let's fight the elite enemies. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. All right. Oh, wow, wow. Um, I don't really need to save the nurse, but if I can, then I will. As I say, as she dies. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> that that's the one thing I wanted to avoid: is staying on the same vertical line, or rather horizontal line. Otherwise, the attack would hit the nurse. But oh well. Amethyst, mitosis, or even more mana regen. I gotta need that mana regen. I always every run just up like a lot of mana regens. Let's see here. Oh, this one. Okay. Um. Well, how about this? Also this. Yeah, that works. Because this one has a high, a, a high def defense. So the gimmick is that you gotta hit it multiple times. Again, uh, three shoot when you channel. Hmm. You know, not as far as I know, a lot of spells don't have the channel trait so this is very rarely could you use this but you know it, it could be good if you actually have the channel like any kind of spell that has channel in it i don't get it though why is it like sensor bar you know sensor bar meaning you get more shield when you channel is there like a joke there somehow i'm not sh entirely sure what that means are you like a news anchor or something your channel you know you open the, the news channel and get i don't know anyway um, but I, I like the picture though. Apparently it's just, I think, Silicy just swearing, I guess. And bleeped out on TV. Can't save that on TV, buddy. Gotta be family friendly. You know, just, just destroy that. Just get rid of it so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you, pro you could probably, I think you could probably reflect it, right? When, when the missile does land, I think you can reflect it, but I don't want to risk it. It does a lot of damage, so... Oh, it's reflect. Just casually reflect explosions, don't worry about it. <sighs> um, man, it's hard, it's hard to, by the way, I'm trying to think of something else to talk about, but like, it's it's hard to think. It's hard to think. This is why when I play this game, the commentary is like, the. I mean, I mean, the commentary already by default is like, meh, you know, but it's even more because obviously, like, I have to pay attention at the same time, so. Dance, dance, dance. 
I mean, the, I mean, they're usually the way I do, by the way, just just commentary in general. It really is just stream of consciousness, you know. I just blab on what I think of uh, off the top of my head usually. I don't usually plan anything. The only thing, the only thing I, I thought about planning was, you know, my thoughts on the patch so far. In the beginning is what I mentioned before. Otherwise, though. Oh. No, that's not what I did. I panicked. Help! Well, took some damage there. It's not too bad, but... Okay, now I'm panicking. Help. See, this is what happens. I try to, like, think about what to say, then suddenly... Bad things happen. Right away. Kablam! Alright, there you go. Music never dies. Heroes never die. But yeah, basically, I don't know, after like, I mean, hopefully when I unlock the new costume, I might like try playing as Terra for a little bit. Um, I probably lose as her, to be honest, because I'm really bad at using her. Otherwise, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to do after that. I said before, like, I'll try out the Philia mod, maybe. Not probably be for next stream. Assuming I stream, because it, it really depends. Like, I don't know, I'll stream, like, on YouTube, it might be, like, maybe only a few episodes. I might stream it again later on, so it'll be even a little bit more, but it really depends. If I feel like playing more. Otherwise, you know, it might just be, like, a very quick look for the update, and that'll be that. And that'll be that. I'm also thinking like, I don't know if I said before, but like, I'm also thinking like, again, it's kind of hard, I don't know, the, certain games are just weird for me to like, edit and upload on YouTube. Because obviously, you, you don't want to upload the entire thing. Um, the only thing, the only time I did that was Genshin Impact, but that's only because I was really casual about it, you know? So I used to, I'm not really focusing too much on like, making Genshin Impact like a playthrough or anything. Because it, the nature of the game doesn't really lend to that, I feel like. So cutting it up doesn't feel right to me, but I don't know. Otherwise, though, usually the type of game playthroughs I like to do are like you know, the, like kind of like story based. Usually something of a beginning and middle and end, right? Like any kind of traditional video game or like story, I guess. So that that allows me to you know make like an actual like series about it, you know? Like I know when it ends, I know when it starts, and that'll be that. When it's fin when it's over, then it's over. Uh, but this type of game, it's like, well, how do you edit it? I don't know. <laughs> you just edit per run, I guess, but what what do you do after you're done playing it? I don't know, so that's why it's kind of edited in such a way where it's like just per run rather than like... Oop, it's a lot of damage there. Ah, damn it. So when is it like really over? <laughs> you know, when is it over? I don't know. Last time, I just, you know, I felt like I did what I could. So that's why I put my my own idea of what it means to be done with a game. It's just simply, you know, being the game with all the characters, get all the endings, that sort of thing. As long as there's no more, like, a little bit more content to check out, then I will. But otherwise, you know, I feel like from this update, there might not be a whole lot to check out. At least, you know, again, for someone who's already played the game for 100 hours, I feel like. Uh, it'll be, again, I said before, but it's good value, though, if you never played the game before. Because there's just a whole lot more stuff to do that just wasn't there. Maybe adds, like, an hour or two of gameplay, I feel like. But not really, like, it's, it's weird to say that, though, because usually when you think about, like, adding an hour or two of gameplay, you think, like, a DLC, right? You add a DLC, it, there's, like, an extra campaign, you know, more side quests or something. But that's not that, this is not that type of game, it's just that they added more, you know, more spells, I guess. more like cards in the system, you know? Mm. Ow, <laughs> I hit myself. Nah, stop that. I keep hearing myself. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? A bit of that. Um, to do this. Kill the rock for no reason, sure, why not? <laughs> Alright. 2-2, gain 2 defense. Good, good, good. 
uh, heal up some HP. HP is always good because you live if you have a ton of HP. Is that right? What's you know reminds me actually. What was the game tip uh, that said like I forget what game it was, but it was like some kind of game that said like Hey, by the way, if your HP reaches zero, you lose. Try not to lose HP. You know, one of the most like condescending like thanks you know thanks uh captain obvious kind of loading tip screen or loading tip screen loading screen tip <sighs> anyway just don't lose hp it's easy just don't die just never get hit and then you win right um max mana sure Mm, upgrade a spell, like the upgrade energizer. I kind of like spread my uh, my upgrades. By the way, that tends to be my philosophy in this game. Uh, I believe there is a achievement you can get by upgrading a spell like to its maximum, uh, which you can do, but it, it requires like uh, how do we call it exponentially. I think not only exponentially, but like it requires like additional upgrades per upgrade every time. So for example, when you upgrade something a second time, you need two upgrades, a third time you need three upgrades, so it costs more every time you upgrade something. But there's achievement you can get by putting all your upgrades in one spell, you know, all your eggs in one basket, I guess. But I feel like it's better term, you know, better long-term benefit to spread it around, in my opinion. Anyway. Uh, I don't really need HP. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm missing very little HP. Don't need that. A jackhammer is weird. I still don't know what this does really. And it doesn't really work for me because I can't make any crack tiles anyway. So I don't know how to, I can't that doesn't help me at all. Uh, I can get max HP though. You know what? Sure, I'll do something like this. Do that. <laughs> Let's remove it. Like so, and then heal up as well, so give you more HP. Max mana. Uh, tender. Hmm, not sure about that. Like, even more max mana. And one more. Oh, I can't afford anything. Never mind. I, cal I miscalculated. I thought I could buy at least one more, but I guess not. Hmm, I guess that's it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't want anything else. Time to fight Saffron! Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't notice before. I think I fought it before last time, I think. But I didn't notice that uh, apparently her spell actually appears on top of her. I didn't notice that before. Also, I'm dying. Help. Die. <laughs> um, that. That I miss technically, but I got my shield back, so that works. Eh, eh, eh. Shields up, please. I need my shields. Ah, my shields are gone. Help. Ow. Uh, I gotta remember to use my switch bait, by the way. I keep trying to save my switch bait, but I don't need to save it. It's a bad idea. I don't. Uh, uh, eh, oh, uh, e. Okay, somehow survived. <laughs> it's pure luck, anyway. I survive. All right. So this time I didn't actually kill anyone. So we're actually fighting the pacifist boss again. I have 800 health. My build is pretty good. I'm just not really utilizing it to the best of my ability, to be honest. I might as well do that for shields. Get those shields up. Those homing missiles actually kind of suck. They keep missing. It's not missing. Okay. 
Okay, kablam. Lots of damage there. Now just need to do a bit more damage. So I need a little bit more, please. Blam. Bam. I missed my... No! Uh-oh. 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 Oh, get my shields back up, please. I need my shields up. You know what? Reflect! Haha! <laughs> Get reflected! Using the power of her main mechanic. Amazing. Get parried. I basically parried her, by the way. There you go! Hey, <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's leave my armor. There you go. So I, I beat it with Reva. On Hell Mode 7, not really the same Hell Mode as the base game, like before the update. Technically, I only, you know, turned on the one thing that is from Hell Mode 7, but not really, you know, Hell Mode 7. What do you call it? Hell Pass? I think it's called Hell Pass or something. I don't know. I, we'll see if this counts, I guess. All I really want to do is unlock the costume. You know, that's all I really want. It doesn't really do much or anything. It doesn't change the gameplay, but... I want to unlock the costume, because I believe it, um, it's the costume, it looks like anyway, from the silhouette. It's her, like, evil one, right? Evil Terra version? I wonder how that works. Like, if you're Terra, uh, technically, you know, technically, if you be pacifist with Terra, like, her, you, like, the evil version of yourself appears. Which is weird, but I guess that's just how it's programmed. But, um... I wonder what happens. I mean, probably the same thing where it's kind of like it's just Terra again. It's just two copies of Terra at the same battlefield or whatever. Wee! How about. Hiya! No? Stinger doesn't do anything. None of these are real, by the way. They're not real enemy entities, I guess. They're like neutral entities. So Stinger doesn't work. Anyway, let's just skip the credits. Seen the credits many times. You can skip it. Made it to Eden! Once again. Took about an hour. Every time, I guess. My runs just take an hour. Huh? Hmm, do I unlock something? Uh, level 50, I think I'm max level now. Once again. There you go! There's Terrible. Hooray! So you do unlock her by simply beating, yeah, the seventh health pass, so you don't have to uh, toggle everything. I don't, again, I don't remember, I don't know, I might have missed a patch, but this seems new. It doesn't say in the patch notes that you can do this. But, uh, you know, you can unlock her, I guess. By doing that, just by toggling the Hell Pass 7. Here's Saw Storm, rain down shatter saws on random enemy tiles, and overload. Unlimited mana regen for 3 seconds. <laughs> Interesting. It costs 6, though. But that's interesting. It means basically you have infinite mana. So like after you use Overload, you can then simply just spam every single spell in your deck. Uh, interesting. Alright, there you go. Alright, so I guess, uh, you know? What sort of thing? Where is it? Is this one? Yeah, it's just this one. I believe uh, I remember actually. You know, I remember playing it back then. Uh, where Terra's uh, like dark Terra thing was actually a different sprite, but I believe this is the updated one, right? I think so. But I remember the old one. I guess you don't get to use that one anymore. It's too old. This one's a new one. This, it's the same Terra though. I, I kind of wish there was a new loadout actually. That would be kind of cool if you could play as dark Terra, use some of her spells actually. But nope, <laughs> that would be too powerful. It's kind of like when you, it's like that meme where you unlock a boss. You know, when you fight the boss, it's like super hard. But then when you unlock the boss, it's like, well, actually, it's just balanced to be a normal character, actually. Uh, but not even that, actually. It's not even a loadout, it's just normal Terra. She just has a, you know, she's just wearing a different dress. But anyway, I guess I'll try her out in the next run. I guess that's what we'll do.